What's up, YouTube? How is everyone? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with uh, channeled messages and some tarot cards and some index cards that I made myself with uh, kind of an update on what has been going on. Uh, my videos have been really veered towards human trafficking, the family involvement, community involvement, and Spirit this morning when I woke up told me that they needed to definitely uh, give some messages to you, the viewers. So with that being said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would. If you would like to donate, I would also greatly appreciate it. There is something in here that talks about donations that I will address when I get to that point. Um, it's something that I am not aware of until recently. Um, if you have been making donations, I want you to know I have not been receiving any donations. I also have had uh, videos go viral and I have not been paid yet. There's something seriously wrong because um, I am not making any money. This isn't the reason why I am doing this. This uh, is my only employment. Yes, I work for God. God takes care of me. So, but I am struggling financially. If you have made donations, please, please, please comment below so we can address this with YouTube, both of us. Okay, anyways, let's get started. So the first channeled message I received is, man coming to apologize for stealing your life due to lies a community told him. And he is wanting to get a relationship back together between a mother and child. That will come back together but the child is going to tell her mother the truth about what she did to make money for this man and the mother will kick his fucking ass because he is her brother and her child is married to him and is a human traffic victim like her mother was her entire life through her brother so there is a brother that's coming in to apologize due to lies the community told him for whatever, if he's abandoned you, if he sold you out, but this man is married to your child and this child is going to tell you the truth about what she's been doing to make the money for this man. It does say that the mother's going to kick his ass. I'm sure if anyone's brother comes and tells them that they have been selling your child for sex um, and selling you your entire life, um, I'm sure anyone and everyone would probably kick that person's ass. If not, you have a lot of patience and understanding. The next channeled message I have is, the CIA is involved big time in human traffic case that a nobody woman from Rollins, Wyoming solved with her YouTube channel and is not aware that her channel is popular and she is rich as fuck. Because this brother paid YouTube to stop her videos from progressing and also took her money, even her donations from her subscribers, especially from a celebrity that is aware something is seriously wrong because this woman has no money and he donated thousands to help her and she never received a dime of his or anyone else's money. So again, if you have sent money you have donated money to me don't think i'm not grateful it is because i've only made eleven dollars in the past um over the what i've been doing this um a year and a half i believe as uh, i think that's as long as i've been doing it but i i've had one donation on here so um know that there has been some somebody receiving the money that is being donated to me it says a celebrity donated money to me, um, and this celebrity is, and th this is me, so, I mean, obviously, um, that the celebrity knows that there was something wrong because this woman is poor. Yes, I am poor. I am struggling very, very <laughs> seriously, but I work for God, and I know God will take care of me each and every day. He sends angels into my life all the time to help me with the things I need, so... Yesterday, a neighbor needed a ride to the store. He put gas in my car. My car was out of gas. So then I was able to go to the store and purchase some hamburger to feed my dogs because my dogs were out of food. Well, I had prayed the night before, you know, for God to please help me because I needed to be able to make it to the store. And 
sure enough, I go to let my dog out and my dog, um, my neighbor stepped out and needed some booze. So we, we traded, he bought me some cigarettes, um, some gas and in return, I took him to the liquor store, which is, you know, angels come in all forms, people. Thank you, God, very much. This celebrity was mentioned in one of my videos, and she now knows he watches her channel. So thank you very much, and would love to meet him as soon as possible. So please come, as she loves you too. <laughs> the brother told the truth as he couldn't sleep from the guilt of destroying his own sister's life. And the fact he human traffics children, women, and men, including his niece and sister, to make millions. So this brother has told the truth to the CIA that he is a human trafficker, that he also has human trafficked his niece, my daughter, and myself to make millions of dollars. Whew. This is just, these channeled messages are just really, really traumatic. Now, with that being said, I know that a lot of you are going through the same thing. If it's not that, that you, a lot of my viewers, I feel are human traffic victims. I am trying to really speak out about human trafficking and what it has done to my life. Also, God is delivering messages for each and every one of you. I want everyone to know that this will stop. God is here and he's speaking through me. God is aware that we have suffered tremendously because of ignorant people, because people wanted to be rich. People wanted to be powerful and successful and, you know, have the nicer things in life. But God wants the message to be heard loud and clear that these people that are, there you go, you watch my <laughs> light blink on and off, that these people are facing judgment, not only from the courts, but from from God himself. Now, with that being said, these people are turning to God now because they turned to the devil. They chose the devil over God. Divine timing was waiting for these people to finally start to turn towards God, start praying to God, please God, forgive me. I'm a fucking monster. I rape and sell and, and whatever else, children, men, and women. I have more money and I watch people suffer each and every day. Um, these people know that either they're dying from AIDS, because that's a tr tremendous, tremendous message, um, and or they are going to prison. Also, these people were finally woken up. There was a lot of spells that these people were putting upon other people black magic and what these people were not aware of and again i'll stress this again in my video when you put spells or black magic on another human being those do not hit that person they actually reflect off of that person as long as they're you know good and from the higher above and you know they're good people too they're not worshiping the devil because the devil wants to take everyone's souls. Well, you know, God allows them to if that's what they choose. But if you are, if you, especially if you are trying to spell and use black magic against a chosen one, an earth angel, um, the divine feminine, an empress, a high priestess, um, anyone and every, everyone that is connected to the divine those spells are reflected and they are sent straight back to the sender. Witch doctors that people are paying are stopping because they are getting hit by every fucking spell or black magic that they have put upon other people. They are afraid because their lives are being torn apart. When you wish harm upon another human being, that harm is going to come back to you 10,000 fold. It's not 10, it's not 100, it's 10,000 fold. And you see my, you can see spirit is here communicating with you in my background. There is a light on that does not flicker. It flickers when he wants you to know what I am speaking is the truth. And he wants you to know that he is present here always with each and every one of us. Moving on to my index cards. So there were lawyers 
that were paid not to do their jobs. We're talking, um, what are they called? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, it, I lost the, 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 word, the name of them. Public defenders that were paid to not do their jobs. If you were in a legal um, battle, if you were going to court, those lawyers were not doing their job. They were siding with the community. They were, excuse me, siding with this brother. Um, these lawyers were throwing you under the bus. They knew that you were being fucked over. They knew what they were uh, doing was wrong. But these la lawyers, layers, these layers, these lawyers were paid to do what they did to you, to not really represent you in the proper manner. With that being said, the CIA is very aware of this. The CIA has been investigating this case for a very long time. And they were really stuck because they couldn't figure out how these people were doing what they were doing. Well, God is here. And God is not only speaking through me, but other tarot card readers. We do not, or at least I do not. I have to speak for myself. I don't know because God's told me different too, but I'm not going to throw anyone under the bus. I get my messages only for, from God. I turn to God. God tells me something about another human being. If they are bad, I will cut them out of my life. Also, God tells me the messages that I am telling you, people. When you are a high priestess, you are connected directly to God himself. And I am that high priestess. I am also the empress. That's the reason why I went through a tremendous fucking journey. I will be writing a book that is going to tell my story, not only mine, but my mother's and my daughter's story of what we were put through because we were human traffic victims. Uh, also to show, you know, and tell about my experience of meeting the devil personally because I have met the devil personally when I went through my awakening God made sure I met that devil with that being said we have community involvement now this brother is coming in to apologize because he says this community told him lies about his sister well this community is involved and the CIA know that anyone and everyone that has been involved in harassing human trafficking, um, it, stopping somebody's growth on YouTube in um, any type of work environment, have stolen somebody's money, knew the truth. These people are being prosecuted too. There could be a whole community being prosecuted. And that means that they will be prosecuted. We here in my situation, we are talking, the judges were involved. The judges were not holding up to their, their uh, oath, but and also having fake court hearings, having somebody else represent me in a custody battle. Uh, there's a lot, and the CIA know it. These people have been questioned. Um, they have lied. But I think eventually they finally broke. Finally, the world is seeing people for who they truly are. This community is done. I mean, everyone in this community I live in was involved in a bad way. That means that the CIA knows that. The CIA is not going to let people off with probation. These people have put people in jail for no fucking reason. These people have taken innocent women's children away, including mine, then turn around and human trafficked my kid. What the fuck is going on in this world, people? And how the fuck are these people getting away with it? Well, if you check out my other videos, it will explain that to a T. Because we have undercover police officers, um, local police officers involved. We have undercover FBI agents. We have, you know, everyone and anyone, human trafficking people making millions of dollars, you know, a year or shit a month how much you know it just depends how many people they're human trafficking well again
the CIA has been watching these people do all this to not only me and my daughter, but this community, the children, and in everybody's community in this world. What people don't realize is they don't go sit and stake out your house in their car. They're up in the fucking sky. They used to tell me I was crazy, and I'm like, there's drones all over following me. Um, nope, she, she's schizophrenic. She's imagining that. Well, no, because I had a cult that was harassing me that way, gang stalking me that way, tremendously. Like, they were always following me everywhere. But what this um, cult didn't realize is the CIA was watching them do that from the sky, too. They thought they were smarter than, you know, the CIA, the people that are going to come in with military folks and take these people out. And I think if it means killing people, they are making room in prison to put these people away because these people are fucking evil monsters that do not, do not deserve to ever get out of prison again. Um, I used to not believe in prison. I was one of those people that were like, we need to give people second chances. But now God showed me why people don't get second chances because I never got a first chance in my life. My daughter never had that first chance in her life, and it was due to my family. It wasn't a stranger that did this to me. It was my family from day one. They also did this to my mother. This brother did this to my mother too. So it was all about money. We have toxic relationships. So this is what I'm talking about. Toxic relationships don't always have to be... Um, uh, between you and another person romantically. My family was toxic from day one. My family chose the devil over God. They also hindered my life because they didn't want their dirty, dark secrets out. They did anything and everything to make people believe I was horrible. Also, a community didn't want their secrets out, so they also did this to me too. I grew up in a very, very, very toxic fucking family, obviously. Um, I am no longer involved in that family, except with my child. But unfortunately, DFS, the government, took my child for no reason. For financial neglect is what they charged me with. But they went around the community saying that I molested my daughter. Um, I did drugs in front of my daughter. I was having sex with my daughter, having sex in front of my daughter. That is not true. And there's proof because the CIA was watching the entire thing. So, but I don't need to defend my position anymore because God has shown me the truth and is speaking through me so then each and every one of you know the truth. Okay, so toxic relationships. Well, that was my family and I'm sure a lot of yours. The next card I have is you are fucking stupid. So this is God. This is what they were saying to about me that I was fucking stupid, that they were just getting away with all this stuff. What they don't realize is that I turned to God for everything. God told me to surrender to him, so I sat back and surrendered. I have surrendered my entire life. Uh, I have been abused since the day I was born. I have been sold for sex since I was a baby. Yes, a baby. Men were having sex with a baby, and they were raping this baby tremendously, which is me. Not only is that me, but that is a lot of you also. It is not embarrassing to speak out about being raped, people. It is not embarrassing to speak out about being a human traffic victim. We had no choice. That doesn't make us used and wore out and ugly and disgusting. That makes us survivors of tremendous, tremendous abuse. And it makes us the most beautiful people in the world because we survived what a lot of people haven't. So remember that. Herpes. So if you have herpes, that is a huge message. This, um, I think that a lot of human traffickers do have herpes um, because the people that were having sex with us have spread herpes. I feel like it is like an epidemic in the United States and around the world. I think that's why STDs keep coming out in my readings traumatically. This is not something to be ashamed of. 
Definitely not. Even if you're not a, a rape victim, this is a common thing. But, but if you have herpes, please, please, please make sure you're taking the proper medicine. There is medicine for it to, you know, stop it from you from having outbreaks. If you are, are, you know, having pain down in that area that is unexplainable, please go to the doctor. They will look, they will be able to determine if you have herpes. Also, this could be just a rumor about you having herpes. Um, maybe some doctor told you you had herpes when in reality you don't. So, of course, there's always a couple different uh, messages there. Take it as you will. But if you are a herpes carrier, it is the most upstanding way to be honest with whomever you're going to sleep with the next time because they deserve to know. We have the magician. This is a sign of Gemini, but this is the magician. Do, using black magic, putting spells, um, really, really uh, abusing spiritual gifts. People, God does not condone anyone, no one, even if you're a witch, to put use spells upon another person. To go to a witch doctor to have them use black magic to harm somebody. Those are being reflected and sent back. Even if you go to a witch doctor, that witch doctor receives that back. They think they're powerful. They're just there to steal your fucking money. That's in reality. Because I'm telling you that God does not give people the power to harm people through spells. That is not correct. There has been a lot of black magic and spells used upon um, people in my situation, on my friends, on my family. Yes, yes, yes. I just said that they could not be put under a spell. Well, that's kind of the, the kicker here. Because when I talk about that, these people were spending thousands and thousands of dollars to hinder somebody's growth. To make them grow old. To make them crazy. To make them ugly to make them die, and so on and so on. Well, for one, I am a chosen one, obviously. Um, you cannot hurt a chosen person. You are trying to put black magic and spells on the divine, on God himself. Now, that's all I need to say about that. But if you are a person that thinks they're a witch, I'm going to tell you, you're not. Um, you may think that you're powerful. You're not. Um, and if you think that any spell has ever hurt me, they haven't. God chose me to go on this journey. And yes, if you were putting for me to be begging for money, that was God's choice, not your power. That was God allowing you to believe that your fucking spells and black magic were working so you would continue killing yourself so he wouldn't have to do it. Now, with that being said, what is the two things that are popular for killing people nowadays. One I don't fucking believe in. So I'm not even going to mention that. But the other one is AIDS. So when I talk about STDs. We're talking about incurable STDs. Yes you can go get chlamydia. Uh, gonorrhea. And go get on medication. It goes away. We're talking herpes never go away. We also talk about AIDS. Yes they have came up with. You know wonderful medication for AIDS. Um people that have AIDS. Um, but is that going to not stop them from dying? Absolutely not. And we all know that. AIDS was created because God created it to take people out. Now, I'm not saying that every person that has AIDS deserves it. I don't believe that in anyone's case because I'm not that kind of person. But I do believe that people that rape children, women, and men do not deserve to even have sex. So, if you are a male and your penis doesn't work anymore and Viagra is not working, there is your answer. And I'm not saying every man that that happens to is abusing somebody. I'm talking about people who actually do it. So don't take my words and twist them, please. If you have AIDS... Um, and you sleep around with communities of people, 
you're also human trafficking women, children, and men. Um, you might want to kind of check yourself a little bit. You might want to turn to God and get the answers that you need because God isn't going to allow this to happen anymore. The first sign I pulled that is strong in this reading is a Pisces and it's Neptune dreams, imagination, memories, the subconscious, self-sacrifice, ideals, universal love, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, veils, and magic. So a Pisces is strong in this reading. We have slowing down. So this has been going on so long that these people that have been trying to, you know, create chaos and conflict and just hinder somebody's growth in life. These people are slowing down. Now, why is that? Because they were fighting against earth angels. They were fighting against chosen ones and they are losing because God is here. So also God is asking us all to slow down. This life is such a chaos. It is such a clusterfuck. It is, we're on the constant go all the time. Why? What are we trying to uh, um, accomplish? What are we trying to prove to the outer world? Why don't we sit back and fucking enjoy this life? Instead, we have people that are turning to the devil to make millions of dollars when we can accomplish that in our life without the devil. God will bring it to us when we are ready, when we have learned the lessons that we need to learn, when we have stepped into the divine, when we have surrendered to God, knowing God will take care of us. Instead, nope, this world is for, full of people that want everything right now, want the biggest fucking houses, want the nicest cars, to do it, they sell their sister's and their sister's child to human trafficking. They hurt other people's children. We have government employees human trafficking children through the Department of Family Services people. Why? Why is that? Because of money. Well, those people don't have any money. And I'm telling you that these government uh, programs, these government uh, departments are not going to exist. They will not exist, people. The CIA is aware that they are human trafficking children through the Department of Fucking Family Services. These people are taking children away from their parents, disrupting these children's lives, disrupting these people's lives, and they have no fucking right. Nobody should ever tell us how to raise our children, period. We have our American rights, our amendment rights, and these people have stepped on them for years and years and years. That's why they came up with them, so we could live free. We could do what the fuck we want. We don't need to wear masks, people, because coronavirus is only something the fucking government came up to to control us again. Now, with that being said, why make them money by wearing those fucking masks that don't work? Why walk around looking like a fucking idiot? I have not wore a mask once unless I was made to and I really didn't. I mean, maybe a handful of times. And I have traveled from Wyoming all the way to Florida, all the way back. I lived in Florida during the high, um, supposedly the height of coronavirus. I went to the beach every day, walked around Florida without a mask on. I ate in restaurants in Florida, people. The news is a fucking hoax. These people are making money off of selling those fucking masks, off of se selling hand sanitizer. People, come on. Back in the day, people smoked. They didn't die of cancer. People fucking never went to the doctor. They didn't. They weren't on high blood pressure pills. They weren't on cholesterol pills. They weren't on any of that shit. All that shit that we are buying into 
is fucking bullshit. It's a waste of your money and it's making all of these fucking people that worship the devil more and more money. We need to wake up as Americans, as human beings, turn to God for the answers. Every time I take a Tylenol, God goes, mm -mm, nope, don't be putting that shit in your body, Sonny. Well, <laughs> I listen, I'll tell you, because all of it, all of it, we have everybody's dying of cancer. Why is that, people? It's not from smoking. Um, smoking has been around forever. And everybody, you know, looks at you if you smoke a cigarette like, oh, my God, if I breathe that, I'm going to fucking die. No, people, you're not. Come on, pull your heads out of your asses, period. Oh, we have the devil. That says it all. This is what's controlling our country. This is what our president right now is. Why is that president the president? Who the fuck voted for him when this man is a fucking child pedophile? He molests children. Now, can you tell yourself our president isn't this? Look at his eyes when he's on TV. They're pitch black, people. People, pay attention to what's happening in this world. God is here. This devil is this brother. This devil is the community I live in. This is why people are hurting other people. This is why human trafficking is going on because they are bound to the devil. They have no heart, even for their own fucking children, people. The devil, the devil, this is spiritual warfare. Who's winning? Not the devil anymore. If you're connected to this devil, I su suggest you better start fucking praying because God's making his presence known and God's telling you he knows what the hell you do. We can't even take a shit without God seeing us. So why do you think that you can rape women, uh, men, and children and get away with it? Sure, you might be 70 years old, but it was divine timing. There was a reason why it took so long. Now, maybe sit back and think about why that is. Maybe turn to God and ask God to tell you why that is. Maybe stop listening to the devil. Stop watching TV, people. Stop watching the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, all it is is about devil worshiping, the Illuminati, the Illuminati people, that's all the devil. They're trying to brainwash people to believing that the devil is what makes you powerful and successful in life. And you know what? It might for a time being, but the devil never wins. We have the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is defending position, uh, overcoming obstacles. If you have been in this position where you've had to defend yourself your entire life, now the wheels have fucking turned, people, because they are having to defend their positions. They're now having to come over obstacles because this is what they made you live through. We have the sun being, essence, energy, self-awareness, life force, spirit, creativity, honor, masculinity, distinction, childishness, ego, individuality, solitude, expression, self-sufficiency, shine, heartbeat, and father. This is a sign of Leo and Pisces. Pisces is out here twice already. Sorrow. This is what everyone wanted you to feel. This is what this brother caused for his own sister and niece, for his own mother, for the people that are being human trafficked. Now these people are having to pull their heads out of their ass Move away from this devil into the light and love. And this is what these people are being faced with. They're having to defend their, their, their position. They're having to overcome the obstacles now. And this is how they're left. Well, this is what they had these people that they were selling feel like their entire fucking lives. What, what we put out is what we get back. Again, people, what we reap is what we sow. Remember that always. God is always here. Yes, God allows people to step into this. We all dip down into the dark, but can you pull yourself out? Can you honestly look in the mirror and not see this every fucking morning? A lot of people can't. Oh, we have the Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Cor Scorpio, excuse me. Um, this is happiness from the past, old friends, and an old love revived. This is what this brother's hoping to, to have. He wants forgiveness from a sister that he sold for sex her entire life. A sister he abandoned and also then married her daughter 
and pulled that daughter into human trafficking, selling that daughter. Um, forgiveness is always needed, people. I really don't want to go any further into this one because this is only my opinion. Um, God is allowing us to decide how we deal with the forgiveness that is needed in this situation. Nine of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the wish card. This is somebody's wishes that have been taken away. This is what people were wishing to have while they were taking and pouring out your wishes. You made a wish. You might have made nine wishes. And all nine of those wishes are going to come true. You know why? Because you chose God. You chose to surrender. You chose to have patience and wait for God uh, to decide when it was time. You, you knew there was divine timing. And by God, I'll tell you, I never thought it was going to fucking come. There was days I was yelling, like, what the fuck, God? You know, why in the hell is this still going on? You're telling me this and you're telling me that. And, and I wait and I wait and I look out my window. Nobody ever comes. I'll tell you, nobody talks to me. No one. Not even my own daughter. No one calls me. No one comes to see me. No one speaks to me. And I'm one of the nicest fucking people alive. And that is no joke. But people tend to say that I'm the meanest person alive. But, you know, people are starting to learn the difference between who is real and who isn't. Who's connected to God and who isn't. And really, maybe they're going to stop listening to gossip, lies, and rumors. Because they look like fucking idiots. We have the 8th house. Investments. Intensity. Contracts. Sex. Erotic capital. Secrets. Mysteries. Obsessions. Inheritance. Kundalini energy. Stalking the underworld. This is a Scorpio. So if there is a Scorpio involved in your situation, there is in mine. Yeah. Maturity. People are finally starting to mature and see what the hell is going on here. There's been, maybe your child has matured throughout this experience. Uh, maybe you have matured throughout this experience and people are really recognizing that. Um, to me, we need to recognize our own selves. We don't need to look to the outside world to recognize if we are mature or not. The last card I pulled is the King of Swords. Sign of Aquarius to me. This is a man in uniform. This is an authority figure. This is the CIA stopping this. This is a huge and wonderful ending to this because this authority figure is here. And also, again, people, don't forget God is here. With that being said, I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Have a peaceful and blessed day. Peace.